Stubborn in a tiny stool. I'm a riding crazy and you never have a clue. Given that the guy everything that belongs to you. Okay. <laughs> Hello guys. So let me pause that. I am Terry Farrell and I am here today with um lip swatches. So I'm just gonna be using all the lipsticks, well, lip glosses that I have today, and we're just gonna try some of my lips and uh, some of my hand because some of them are really dry. They're matte, and they get really dry, and I don't want really my lips to get sore from keep scrubbing them off. So, so with that being said, let's get started. And there you go. I don't know if you guys see that. Okay, the next color is another one by um, Velvet Lippy, and this is the color Wicked. It is not black. This is like a thin purple. It's almost like the color Queen, just like way like vampire purple. Like, I don't know if you get that, but like, this is Wicked. This is terracotta, and then this is queen. Um, and then we're gonna go in with another matte LA girl, um, matte finish. And this is just like a shade, this is the color Stunner, uh, 845. And most of these lip glosses probably range from like seven to like a dollar, like seven to a dollar. And this is like another purple. And with this color, I'm not even gonna lie, with the um, LA Girl Matte, the ones that come in tubes like this, they're very, very brittle. They're very, they come on good, but once they dry, they're very hard to get off. So it's best to put like a soft coat um, Vaseline under, under um, your lips. This is another LA Girl uh, Matte in the color um, Santa Fe. 08 and it's it's almost like the terracotta but it's like a very consistent pink and it's very like it's very soft it's not like rough or dry like the terracotta was like a drop dry brush but um see the little the difference in them and let's see what else we have here Okay, this is another one, and um, this is almost similar to the one I really just used, but um, of course they're just by two different brands. This is pretty much almost similar, like in um, color, and I just like literally turned off that radio because I don't know what song that is, and this is like very mushy too. It's just a little lighter. Yeah, it's um, it's like pretty much almost the same thing, just like two different brands. So they, they played me right there. They played me right there. I'm trying to reach. I'm reaching. I'm reaching. Okay, this is another one. Um, this is a true matte. So the other one. So this was an um L A girl matte, and then this is a true matte color. Um, this is a true matte as well. Um, just like the uh, LA girl, they're, they're matte, but they're very, once they, they come out smooth and once they dry, um, you're gonna get, your lips are gonna get crusty, so it's best to always put something on under here, and I love this song, because if you don't like Cardi B, you know where you can go. Okay, so we're gonna swatch this one, and I probably should have put, here you go. And it's kind of like a cool gray, cool purple. For some reason, I'm noticing that I have a lot of some type of purples. This is another um, matte lip color by Ruby Kiss. And this is the color Bella Gingo. I'm probably not saying that right. So, it's like a blue. Oh, and it's so pretty. I don't know why I haven't worn this color in so long. Look at that. That is so freaking pretty. You see that? That's pretty. Okay, shout out to Cardi. 
Okay, this is a true matte as well. And you already know this is a color cocoa bean. Coca bean. And it's like a it looks like a burnt red, to be honest. I've worn this color before, but I think I've two-toned it because um it's so blunt and my lips are so full. See? It's like a it looks like a red, then it also looks like a brown. So take that as you will. Okay, this coming into some of my favorites. This is this is um, an LA color, and um, it's like a nude color. This is in color fresh. And with these, these are not matte. These are just glosses. But this is a nude color, and it's so pretty and it always it doesn't make your lips dry or nothing it stays on and I'm not sure if it's gonna show up on my skin but there we go I probably should have swiped it again um this is a lip shine which is in a color like a, a gold it probably won't show on my uh there we go lip shine ah. Lip shine. You quit it. Okay, and okay, so this is a Revlon Ultra Matte color. Okay, so it's clear that I have a lot of matte lipsticks, uh, lip glosses. I can't even tell you how many um, lip glosses I actually have in. Well, lipsticks I have. And um, so this is a matte color. I'm not sure what color this is. Oh, this is uh, the Forever Eternity. And it's almost, it's a nude, like a nude undertone, pinkish kind of color. Oh, I'm showing it right. And then, there we go. There we go. Here we go. Yeah. I did that. So one and be careful me. My heart is like a pack of real friends. We want to be careful with me. Okay. This is a lip shine, but it's just a clear gloss and it's pretty dirty because I mix it up with something else most of the time to give me that extra shine okay this I got a rue 21 and it's a pearl cream lip gloss it is matte and you better add it's like a gold bronze color and uh, it's like a it's like a shiny bronze metal color and that's the color right there and um this is an also um la girl it's, a, it's apparent that i have a lot of la girls and this is in the color mingle and it's all shiny and stuff Ooh, and it's pretty too. You see it? Okay, and if my face looks shiny, it's because I do have. I when I took a shower when I got home from work, I um I took a bath or whatever, and then um I usually when I lotion down and stuff like that, cause I got into a car wreck like a year ago, whatever. I already made a gash here, so I usually use like a coconut um, oil type of thing. And it worked really good, so it like cleared up my skin completely. As you can see, I had like really clear skin like on my body. And I just thought, it made, I didn't use it on my face as much because I thought I didn't want to be oily. But it's better than being dry, so I recently started using it on my face to see if I can like clear it up just as good. Because... When that happened, I'm <laughs> But you see, I still got that natural glow. Cause look, ooh, ooh, ooh. that natural glow. Cause I ain't got no makeup on. Okay, getting to the hot stuff. Okay, this is an LA color as well, and it is in a color blunt. Which when I use this color, I use it very lightly because I am a dark skin girl. 
and <laughs> you see as you can see it's very very hot pink I mean like hot pink and I think I got some of my teeth like inside my mouth yeah Ugh, come on do better <laughs> okay this is another LA girl and this is in a color lavish oh you know as, as you can see I got a lot of purples up in here somewhere and mm, it looks dark it kind of looks like it's like a plum it's literally like a plum and if you were watching it, like why is she using a white towel I can't do it. Okay, so this is another um, LA Girl Colors. And this is in the color Dynamite. Okay. And I'm gonna wipe this one on my lips. And it's like a, it's red. But it kind of looks like pink when it comes on. And a little goes a long way. So this is what people like full lips. You don't need a lot. You can just like rub it together and just. Y'all feeling it? Cause I'm feeling it. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna wipe it off. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Okay. The next color is a matte. And it is LA Girl. And it almost looks like the cocoa bean. I'm not going to put this one on my lips because it is like a matte. And it's going to dry really fast. And then I'm going to be scrubbing my lips. Like I just kissed the toilet seat or something. So this is the color. Yeah. That's the color. The one needs to make my arm itch. I really want to scratch, like, so I have, like, lip gloss. I'll smear the lip gloss. Okay, and this is, like, this is another one I got from Rue, and it's a cream um, lip gloss. And it, as you can see, it is, like, very blue. It's not really, um... It's not really as dark as you think um, it'll come on. It's not at all. Like, and you see it in that container, like the tube. You would think it'd be um, like a lot dominant as it is on my hand, like blue, blue. But I'm putting your lips like thins itself out or something. I don't know how else to say that. Okay, so this is another LA Girl Colors. And this is in a color sensual. And we're just gonna swatch this on my hand. Some of these colors almost look alike. And this is in the color sensual. Forget this, I was scratching my arm because something down here itches and I don't want to smear the lip gloss. So, yeah, that's it. Sensual. Skipping songs, I want to hear. This is in a um, lip shine, and this was my favorite color for lip wash. Okay, I'm done. And this is like a dark purple. Okay. Okay, I'm hairy for real. And one of these are making me it. Okay, and so it's like a dark purple, almost looks brown. 
Oh, a very, very hot pink. And I'm gonna put this on my lips to just show you how pink. It's like a Barbie pink. Like, it's pink. Like, pink, pink. And it's not like. It's not like these two. I'm always in a top shit. Box seats, bitch, fuck the gossip. How many of them could have did it with finesse? Now everybody like she really is the best. You play checkers, couldn't beat me playing chess. Now I'm about to turn around and beat my chest. It's just King Kong. Yes, it's King Kong. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Okay, this is just a lip gloss, um, lip, um, plumper. And it's just a little lip gloss. There's like not much for me to, um, I thought I got this lipstick on my shirt. Obviously, damn it. So this is a Revlon and this is the uh, red. And, um, oh wait, crap. Red. So this is another um, LA color and this is the color Scarlet. So this is the Revlon Red and then this is the color Scarlet as you can see. I know we're almost done. Um, this is another LA Girl Colors, and this is in the color Brilliant, and, um, it's like a nude as well, just a little darker than the, um, I am, like, so fucking hairy on my arms, <laughs> like, seriously, I need to, like, and this, I'm not even this hairy, I don't know why, maybe because I just tried to shave it, and it grew back thicker or something, okay, but, that's the nude. You can like barely see it. Maybe I should do another swatch. Maybe I should do another one. I wonder if I just grabbed the right one. I did grab the right one. So yeah, there it is. And it fell. Okay, so this is another LA Girl Pro. I mean, I like her colors, and this is in the color baby cakes, cause you know, baby got cakes. And it is a very, very pink, it's like a, a baby doll, pink. Oh my God, it is like I am over here wiping up hair on my arms. It is ridiculous. It almost looks white. Hmm. I mean, do y'all see this glow here? Like, damn. Damn, Terry. Damn, Pharaoh. Ooh. See, that's why it's good to use, like, coconut oil and stuff for your skin. So this is just a regular lip gloss I got from the dollar store. It was there because sometimes I don't want to wear lipstick all the time. So I start wearing glosses again. You know. Um, this is another fave of mine. And it is uh, Old Boy. And it is by... Oh, shit. Who is this by? Okay, see, I don't even know who this is by. I did the name in the front scratch off. That's because I used it so much. But it's good. So it's like a color, it's like a brown, it's like a brown, brown, and it's like really dark on my skin too, there you go right there, it's like dark. And last but not least, this is another true matte in the color Clairant, Clairvant. And it's like a purple. And there you go. And that is all the lip glosses I have. And that's a good. It's over 10. Over 10, 12, 13. It's like over 14. So that is the end of this tutorial. 
just wanted to show you my lip glosses while I jam to some music. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, with that being said, bye, guys. And um, I'll be back with something new, something clever, something awesome, something weird, something Terry Farrell. Uh, whether that's me getting out there more to post some of my poems which if you not if you haven't seen those please go to my page and check those out especially the latest one i recently post um called don't shoot i love that one so much i got so much love from that one at the poetry cup like i ended up stuttering because they were just like screaming you go girl and i was just like oh my god this is awesome so um it was awesome it was a great experience I'm trying to get out there more i'm trying not to be so nervous i'm shy remember my work for one and um can't remember everything i write like everything off the top of my head um and that's pretty much it so just like stay tuned look check it out